A very good morning folks. Krishnandu here. Welcome back to my channel. We are still at the Chateau Qatar. This is the village where we are staying in. It's called Pierre Pertueuse and we have come to visit the village, the chateau which is in this particular village, driven up just maybe what three kilometers and going to show you this. Uh, I think today sometime during the day I will show you exactly what all we have done on the map that we have a better idea of what we have been doing. Let's go up. That's where we are going, somewhere there. Wow, let's see. So, as you can see this place, there's nobody here. And uh, of course there are tourists, it's an extremely, uh, you know, uh, visited place. But thankfully there aren't too many people. And it's really beautiful, the, the way to the Chateau Kata, this particular Chateau Kata. Alors, Kata, as I've said, these were the people who presented a kind of a, uh, you know, very unique way of life and they had a very strong power which is why they were eliminated by the kings of France. So this is one of the chateaux that we are visiting. Let me go have a look. The first time there is mention of uh, this Chateau of Perpertueuse dates back approximately 1000 years. That's around 1020 odd. And at that time, the Catalan region, that is where we are right now, where they are the uh, Chateau Qatar, uh, they were also linked to Figueras. Figueras is a place where we visited yesterday, where we, uh, there was the Museum of Salvador Dali. Nothing to do with Salvador Dali, but that region was linked to, this, to the Chateau Qatar, the Catalan region. We are at a height of 800 meters above mean sea level. Uh, please excuse the wind, I don't have a dead cat on right now. But uh, the chateau that you see, that's the place we're coming from. Absolutely impressive, 1000 years old, having a ball of a time at this magnificent Chateau Qatar that we're visiting right now.
So folks, uh, today this is the second Chateau Qatar that I'm visiting. In the morning we visited the Chateau Qatar called Perpétueuse, which is just a few kilometers behind on top of another hill. And this is the Chateau called Chateau de Caribus. Now this one also, the first mention we find about almost exactly a thousand years ago, give or take two years. First mention is from 1020. At that time they were part of the Aragon Empire, Aragon uh, Kingdom, northeast of Spain, vassals of Barcelona. These Qatars were also destroyed and massacred by Saint Louis, so called Saint Louis, or King Louis IX, the French king, who massacred them around the 13th century. After that, it became more or less French and it was rebuilt several times, but it was then you know it lost importance because the final frontier between Spain and France was drawn and there was no more importance of the Chateau Qatar anymore after that. Extremely difficult to shoot today because the wind is blowing at more than 100 kilometers an hour at this altitude of about 750 meters above sea level. Uh, in the morning we were about 800 meters above sea level, the difference is about 50 meters. But let me tell you, the experience is absolutely mind-blowing. On top of here you can see the entire Catalan region. Well, it's an exaggeration but it's really beautiful and you can look at Spain from here. It's fantastic. This looks like it is the gunpowder room. They stock gunpowder here. The Qatar had a very different way of living. Their, the way they followed Christianity is somewhat akin, it seems, it was somewhat akin to what the Orthodox used to do. And probably we can speculate that had the Qatar not been massacred by the French kings, the world history may have been written very differently. Maybe we can go back in time and alter that sometime in the future. Wow! What an amazing place this is. Simply incredible. Right on top of the Chateau of Caribus. This, the windy conditions are extreme in such windy conditions. I would probably need multiple dead cats. And the Chateau that we are here is right behind. I'm crouching down to avoid some of the wind, but it's right behind the Chateau where we went to in the morning, Perpetuous. I'll just show you in a moment. Right back there. Let's show, just show you. Wait a moment. There. That's the Chateau of Pierre Précieuse that we visited in the morning. Just to give you an idea, this is the passage that I walk from, which used to be part of the uh, surveillance tower of this castle. The wind is so strong, it is blowing the camera out of my hands. It's extremely difficult to keep the camera steady holding in my hands. But what a magnificent visit, I tell you. I mean, this is the places that you really should come and visit. It's absolutely stunning. D monuments dating back 1,000 years. And, and, and the history behind every room has a story to tell. <laughs> 